Do you want to identify yourself? No, I don't. I don't ever identify myself. Has he stepped on your property though? Not yet. Okay. That's why, why is he here though? Who's he radioing? But he's on a public right of way. Yeah. It, not, and it's per, he can actually do that. That's okay. okay but yeah. with him saying that he wasn't recording over here, it was the whole time. Like he was recording the whole time. That's why I told him not. To. And did you go out and tell him not to take photos? Yeah, we told him not to take photos and not to not to record us. You have your right to your own private property, just as they have their own rights. To their own I, I haven't. I've, I've done nothing. I've stood, I understand. stood on the sidewalk. So I why understand. are you saying stuff that makes no sense? What's up, Pata fam? This part of the video is muted anyway. So just a quick synopsis here. This happened in Prescott, Arizona earlier this year where I was out filming and I was on a sidewalk in front of an auto zone and a uh, couple of male Karens freaked out, called the police. And here are the body cams from the police officers on that incident. They did pretty good, but I'll let you be the judge. Check it out. <laughs> This is a public easement from the street over to like 15 feet. All right. Can I get your name and dash number? Yes, sir. It's James McCabe, 496. 496? Okay. Yep. So why wouldn't they want me on their property? What have I done? You made, honestly, they said they made, you made them nervous. Okay, okay. for, for, for filming. filming? Well, I yeah. think you probably need to educate them that there's nothing wrong with taking a picture or video in public. I already did. So I don't get They're the I don't get why the drama. They're still extremely nervous. I didn't say a word to it. I understand. Sit on the sidewalk. So why are you saying stuff that makes no sense? I'm a, I haven't been on the property. That it's private property, so you, if they're asking you to not step on the property, please do. Step and on the I property. haven't stepped on the property. Okay. So we're just having a second conversation. Okay. What was your plan? That way I can let them know. Well, to be totally honest with you, I wasn't even recording. I was walking down here. I set my tripod for an autopod right now. Okay. Here on the sidewalk. As soon as I shut it down, some fat guy right here starts yelling at me. Okay. And he says he's going to call the cops. I said, okay. And he called the cops. And I said, I'm going to stand right here until the cops come because I'm not going to run from the cops. When you said he was yelling at you, what was he saying? He's like, you can't take my picture. And at the time, I wasn't even recording it. And I started recording after he yelled that to me. I was actually doing a piece of quick change oil for something. Okay. There you go. Well, the guy that was out here, he was one of the, I think he's still in there. Is it some, some guy smoking a cigarette? Some short, like, short kind of heavy stuff. Yeah. I think he did, yeah. Look kind of scruffy. But, yeah. yeah. you know, there it is. Really, tell him it's just the camera. There's no reason to be scared of the camera. I'm not saying it's just the camera. scared of a camera and just a journalist. They shouldn't they should have just came up to me and said, hey, what are you doing? Can I ask you politely or respectfully what, what's going on? He never said any of that. He started yelling, said he gets in that car and I spoke to him for maybe 10 seconds. No, you can't record me, you can't take my picture and then he starts freaking out. I never said a word to the guy. So put that into perspective. 
So it said I wasn't even like close to the guy. I a lot of, so a lot of a lot of folks are kind of unfamiliar with the one-party consent in Arizona. I think uh, he 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 thought maybe you were trying to invade his privacy. I don't really know. Even the uh, two-party consent would not apply for wiretapping because I'm not uh, yeah. I'm I'm not recording surreptitiously. Oh, well, we let him know. Right in Yeah, there's yeah, there's no even expectation. Even the two-party, you know. Right. He's aware of it. Yeah, I mean, there's a big auto zone here. I don't know why he thinks that he's the subject. Mm -hmm. I don't even know who the guy is, nor do I care. Right. So, for him to think it's all about him, I, I just maybe he's got a big ego. I don't know. But I don't know anything about the guy, and I don't care anything about the guy. I don't know so I'm just out here recording in public. This is what I do. I'm a journalist, and uh, yeah, he's, uh, probably should take this up. Where, uh, where can we find your stuff? So Watch, yeah, I don't discuss it when I'm uh, in the midst of what I'm doing, okay. but uh, I'll, I'll tell you in a second here, because you guys, I think, did a pretty good job. You're professional. You identified yourself. You didn't do the, the bullshit right here thing, you know, so I appreciate that. So, uh, yeah, no, I'm going to So, anyway, I appreciate you guys. all things audits you find my channel. Uh, I'm not, I don't do anything to provoke. There's some people like, well, you said that, you know, that, you know, they're just anal. I'm just quiet, I'm cool, I'm peaceful, I'm, I'm not disrespectful. I just walk into places, you know, and I get I only give it back if it's given to me. Like, if, you know, somebody's aggressive towards me, I could be a total dick. But I'm not bullshitting you. I literally was walking. I stopped for 10 I seconds. I wasn't even recording. I'm like this. I'm like, yeah, yeah. He yells something. And I'm, I look over and, and I start recording at that point because I, I can understand like there's something going on. Right. He wasn't even like, I wasn't even recording the guy. And he just starts yelling. And so then he got my attention. And he's like, I'm going to call the cops. I'm like, well, okay. I'm not going to run. I didn't do anything wrong. So I stayed there and waited for you guys to get here. And, uh, that's what happened. Like, I didn't say anything to the guy. Yeah, people yeah. seem to think that just because you I'm see their... Far, mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Just, they seem to think that just because you see the license plate, that it, you automatically That's know everything about That's another stupid-ass thing because license plates are plainly visible by everybody. Yeah, absolutely. There's a lot of uh, misconceptions about privacy and public recording and wiretap laws and just all this crap yeah. that uh, people need to be educated on, man. Like, they really... They really do because it's it's getting out of hand where people are. I think it happened ever since 9/11, man. People just been so damn scared of everything. People used to. No. Okay. No, I didn't believe that guy's inside. Perfect. Thank you. Yeah. How's it going, sir? Good. How about you? Good. What's going on? We got some weird guy out there recording my building and then recording my license plate and everything that I do. I don't okay. Know who he is or anything like that, and he's making me a little nervous. Okay. I know you've asked him to leave. We we can ask him to leave. He's also on the sidewalk. We'll, we'll go talk to him. See if we can get him to move along. Yeah, I don't. I don't want him here. Okay. 
Has he stepped on your property? Has he stepped on your property though? Not yet. Okay. That's why is he here though? Who's he radioing? I don't know. I I'm I understand that, and I'm gonna. I haven't talked to him yet. Okay. But, but I need to know my. I need to know if he was on your property or not, because that helps. That gives me a little more standing. Because if he's on the public right away, he's allowed to be there, right? Mm -hmm. So. Okay. Well, so here's what it is. Well, I'll talk to him and see what he's got going on. We'll come let you know. All right. So that they didn't want you on their property. I haven't been on their property. That's so why I was kind asking. Of, kind of a neat point. You're all right now. This is an easement. Okay, so I'm just letting you know that. Yeah, I'm not on their property. This is a public easement from the street over to okay. like 15 feet. All right. Can I get your name and badge number? Okay. So why wouldn't they want me on their property? What have I done? You made honestly. They said they made you made them nervous. Okay, for, for, for filming. filming. I yeah. think you probably need to educate them that there's nothing wrong with taking a picture or a video in public. I already did. Well, so I don't and get, they're the, still extremely I don't get why the drama. They're still extremely nervous. I didn't say a word to them. They are 100% nervous you are out here filming. I'm just saying that's their right. Just like it's your right to be out here, it is 100% their right to be extremely nervous for your by your actions. Well, taking a picture yep. in public makes somebody nervous. They need to work on their themselves. Okay. Her. It's technically private property. I haven't in been Arizona. on their property. In Arizona, you have your right to your own private property. They have their own right to their own I, I haven't. I've, I've done nothing. I've stood, I stood on the sidewalk. So why are you saying stuff that makes no sense? I'm a, I haven't been on their property. It's private property, so they're asking you to not step on the property. Okay, and I haven't stepped on the property. Okay. So we're just having a circular conversation. Okay. What was your plan? That way I can let them know. Well, to be totally honest with yes. you, I wasn't even recording. I was walking down here. I okay. set my tripod, well, monopod right now. Okay. Here, okay. on the sidewalk. As soon as I set it down, some fat guy right here starts yelling at me. Okay. And he says he's going to call the cops. I said, okay. okay. And he called the cops. And I said, I'm going to stand right here to the cops then because I'm not going to run from the cops. Right. He's like, you can't take my picture. And at the Wait. time, I wasn't even recording him. And I started recording after he yelled that to me. I was actually doing a piece on the quick change oil place up there. Okay. So, so there you go. What? The guy that was out here, did he already leave or was he? Is no, he, he was one of the, I think he's still in there. Is it some, some guy smoking a cigarette? Some what do you look like? Short kind of heavy set guy. They have a beard? I think he did, yeah. Okay. Looked we'll kind of scruffy. But I'll talk to him as well. You know, they're, like they're I said, really, you're not. Tell him it's just a camera. There's no reason to be scared of a camera. And what was your first name again? I'm not saying my first name. Okay. So, again, you're not doing anything wrong. I understand that. I can let them know. I just wanted to know your intentions so I can let them know how long you're going to be out here. Well, just go in there and tell them don't be scared of a camera. I'm just a journalist. Okay. They should They should have just came up to me and said, hey. What are you doing? Can I ask you politely or respectfully what, what's going on? Mm -hmm. He never said any of that. He started yelling, standing next to that car when I stood there for maybe 10 seconds. He said, ah, you can't record me. You can't take my picture. And then he starts freaking out. And I never said a word to the guy. Okay. So put that into perspective. Okay. We'll go talk to him. Yeah. You're free to go. Oh, I know. I All right. No. Nope. Uh, we can get you one. Can you give me that? Yeah.
All right, a couple things. One, uh -huh. talking to him, he they're saying they were doing a their own journal piece on the oil change place right here, and originally he wasn't filming, but he started recording towards that direction. And did you go out and tell him not to take photos? Yeah, we told him not to take photos and not to not to record us. Okay. And I also told him that I was calling the police too. Right, and that's when I believe it sounded like he started recording towards here, but he's on a public right of way. Yeah. It, not, and it's per, he can actually do that. That's okay, okay but right. with him saying that he wasn't recording over here was the whole time. Like he was recording the whole time. That's why I told him not. So okay. in Arizona, but in Arizona, that's there's not illegal. Party consent, where unless there's an expectation of privacy, like a like a personal home, like a window that's open, oh, yeah, lines yeah, yeah. are open. It's a public business. Right. I wouldn't say public business, but there's no expectation of privacy. Mm -hmm. And he, he's allowed to. Okay. Well. And so he's all I did advise him. And you know, I mean, he's well aware of that I did advise him though that you didn't want him on your property. Yeah, no, and I, I said he could be on, that. and he's on the public right away and everything. He completely well, understands we're that. Fine. We're in agreement on that, and I just said that AutoZone didn't want exactly. you on the property. Yeah. And he goes, I didn't, you know, he's basically, I'm not plan on going over there. I understand that. End of it. I was going. I'm on the public area. We figured it was a police auditor or something like that, so. We didn't need him auditing us. Okay. Yeah, I mean, there's but, another, uh, there's a woman out there that's... Yeah, so on the radio, it's the, the woman is who he's been uh, talking you to. you want her on your property or not? Oh, I don't want you to know Alright. You guys have a good day. You too. He's over here. Write it down. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Understand why he but, got so upset? I wasn't even like close to the guy. I was way of, down the street. So a lot of a lot of folks are kind of unfamiliar with the one-party consent in Arizona. I think uh, he, he he thought maybe you're trying to invade his privacy. I don't really know. Even uh, a two-party consent would not apply for the wiretapping because I'm not there. Yeah. I'm I'm not recording surreptitiously. Oh, we I'm, let him know. I'm right in public. He's a, and yeah, he's aware of that now. Yeah, no even a two-party, you know. Right. But, he's aware of it. Yeah, I mean, there's a big auto zone here. I don't know why he thinks that he's the subject of anything. I don't even know who the guy is, nor do I care. Right. So, for him to think it's all about him, I, I just maybe he's got a big ego. I don't know, but yeah. I don't know anything about the guy, and I don't care anything about the guy. I don't know anything. So about I'm just either. out here recording in public. This is what I do. I'm a journalist. Okay. And uh, yeah, he uh, probably should take a chill pill. Where uh, where can we find your stuff? To yeah, I don't discuss it when I'm uh, in the midst of what I'm doing, okay. but uh, I'll, I'll tell you in a second here, because you guys, I think, did a pretty good job. You're professional. You identified yourself. You didn't do the, the bullshit right here thing, you know, yeah. so I appreciate that. So, uh, and, yeah, I'll, I'll give it back to you. So, anyway, I uh, appreciate you guys. Uh, let's do it. So, uh, Is that your logo? Sorry? Is that your logo? Yeah. So it's a, it's a thing that I do call Prove All Things Audit. So if you go on YouTube Prove all things audit. and you look up uh, Prove All Things Audit, you'll find my channel. Um, I'm not, I don't do anything to provoke. There's some people that go out and they're like, you suck by, you know, uh, you know, they're just yeah. anal. I'm just quiet. I'm cool. I'm peaceful. I'm, I'm not disrespectful. I just walk into places and, I'm, and I get, only give it back if it's given to me. Right. Like if, you know somebody's aggressive towards me that I could be a total dick right. but I'm not bullshitting you I literally was walking I stopped for 10 seconds I wasn't even recording I'm okay. like this just telling the guy like yeah yeah he yells something and I'm and I look over and, and I start recording That's at that point because I, I can understand like there's something going on right he wasn't even like I wasn't even recording the guy and he just starts yelling 
And so then he got my attention. Then he's like, I'm going to call the cops. I'm like, well, okay, I'm not going to run. I didn't do anything right. wrong. So I stayed there and waited for you guys to get here. And uh, that's what happened. Like, I didn't say anything to the guy. Yeah, people you know? seem to think that just because you I'm see reaching the... for a sticker. Oh, you're fine. Okay, thank you. It just, they seem to think that just because you see the license plate, that you automatically That's another stupid-ass thing because license plates are plainly visible by everybody. Yeah, there's a lot of... Uh, misconceptions about privacy and public recording and wiretap laws and just all this crap yeah. that uh, people need to be educated on, man. Like, they really they really do because it's it's getting out of hand where people are... I think it happened ever since 9-11, man. Mm -hmm. People have just been so damn scared of everything. People used to go in front of a camera and go, Hi, Ma. Right. And now it's freaking, What's he doing? Ah, call the cops. But, Right. For me, for me taking a picture, really? I mean, I didn't do anything to the guy. I think you're handling it in a civil, being, being civilized in a civil manner. I mean, that kind of gets your point across a bit more than that. Uh, cool. Well, yeah, I, I don't, I don't yeah. like the antagonistic auditors or the people that go up to people while they're eating, yeah. or like try to right. fill schools, like elementary schools and dumb shit like that. That's my car I, too. I don't, I don't do that. I just go right. out in public, and I actually do stories. Like I just did a story in a. Um, uh, Phoenix on the NFL and I went around and I went down to the courts and I was covering a, a thing where the NFL is trying to restrict the First Amendment in this thing called the clean zone around where people are going to be gathering for the NFL festivities so I do actually uh, reporting I don't just go out and just mess with people for no reason I actually cover stories like my story about the oil change thing was a lot of these oil change places will say they do stuff that they don't right. and I've had it happen to me where like oh we changed your differential fluid or whatever and they never touched it Right. So I'm doing a piece. The, the new oil on the dipstick. Well, if you could trust that, I mean, yeah. that, how yeah. how hard would that be to That's fix? Right. right. But anyway, my point is, I was actually doing a piece on that, which is why I have the camera, and which is why I was here, yeah. and I was I recording mean, those guys. And this guy, I was here ten seconds. This guy, ah, I was like, what are you? Well, that's what I ended you didn't up, even give me a chance to target you. I didn't even do nothing to you. That's you know? what I ended up telling him too. That you about the oil change. Yeah. And then I'm like, did you go out and say something? Well, yeah. I'm like. Yeah, that's when that you drew pretty yeah. much drew the attention. That's when I started recording. <laughs> yeah. That's when I hit record. Right. And when he said so, I wasn't even looking at the guy. He's like, ah, he starts yelling at me from standing next to that actor over there. Like, okay, bro, whatever makes you happy. But, you know, I got the right to stand here and have my camera if I want to. So, so you guys did a great job. With Appreciate that it. report, we document, we talk to him and you. Do you want to identify yourself? No, I don't I don't ever identify myself because the point of it is you can figure out I am if you go to my channel and okay. do some investigative work. I'm not uh, you can find me out all over. But I don't do it because it's the principle of the Fourth Amendment okay. of being secure in your papers. So unless you did a crime it's different. You, right. Yeah, it's different. unless I've done something illegal, right. I, I purposely do that not to be a jerk to you, but just to preserve my own That's fine. identity. Right. You know? Right. So it's no disrespect. It's just how I do stuff. Stop. Don't but take it as such. I, I wouldn't have gave you my information right. if I was that worried about it. You get right. what I'm saying? I do. You can dig like two minutes and figure out who the hell I am. I promise you it's Perfect. not that hard to do. I got tons of videos. Some say my name, my whole face. Okay. You see what I'm saying? So yeah. just go check it out. But but make sure you subscribe. Well, <laughs> we appreciate it. All right, guys. I'm going to go down here and see what the hell is going on. All right. Take care. Take I'll care. Be careful.